Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, yes, we are going to be doing French tips press on set. I got the press ons from BT Art Box Nails. I did order these from Amazon instead of directly from their website because I needed them quick. And I did get the short pink coffin set. So I already showed you guys the box that it came in, what it looks like, um, fresh in the box. And I also took a cuticle remover and removed the any dirt that was underneath my nails. Right now I'm just sizing my fingertips and figuring out which tips are going to be best suited for my nails. It's very important that you choose ones that fit just right and not too big or too small otherwise they will pop off now I'm going to clip my actual fingernails get them as short as I can so that they don't interfere or come out over the actual press-ons while we're watching this the price that I paid for this set was $24.99 on Amazon I do think that they come with a they come as a full set with the um, the gel glue as well as the top coat on the actual website but for this set I, as you can see I used the nailing ultra quick glue which I also did get from Amazon I am NOT versed with gel glue yet and I am terrified of the horror stories that I've heard dealing with gel glue and if you don't do it right and if you don't cure it right so I'm gonna stick with my trusty nail regular nail glue for now and then maybe I'll graduate it eventually so the first clip of me sizing my nails is kind of just showing you exactly how you want to make sure it fits both side walls and now I'm actually sizing my nails in you know going through the different sizes there's quite a few and they fit my nail beds perfectly actually which is why I love these because regular press-ons do not fit me I don't know what's going on with my nail beds but they never fit side wall to side wall anyways now I'm just going to go in and buff my nails file them down make sure that there is some texture there so that the uh, actual press-ons and the glue have something to adhere to and it just helps like your prep is everything when it comes to press-ons especially now I'm about to use my cuticle pusher and just push all my cuticles back make sure they are out of the way so that they aren't in the way when I put my press-ons because you're going to put them right in front of the cuticle Right now I'm going in with my 100% pure acetone and that is just to dehydrate the nail. I forgot to buy an actual nail dehydrator. So um, we're going to make sure you can either use acetone or an actual dehydrator or regular alcohol and that'll help dehydrate the nail so that there's no moisture that'll mess with the whole adherence process. Now it's time to actually adhere the press-ons to my nails and this first clip it makes me cringe because this is where I messed up at and I wanted to include it so that I can tell you guys what not to do. So here I put, um, throughout this whole process I put nail glue on my regular nail, my actual nail, and on the press-on. What I did for both was put way too much glue on them and when you're putting on these press-ons, you're going to want to put them on at a 45 degree angle. But this was hard for me to do because I put so much glue on that it got stuck to my little finger, as you can see. But you're going to put them on at a 45 degree angle and then you're going to press down. Now look at all the glue that is seeping out of that nail. It was crazy. I, again, got stuck. This is pretty much what you're going to do throughout the rest of the process, but with a lot less glue. I think you saw me take that file right there and just file off some of that glue. I didn't do too much because of the white. Um, it 
comes off very easily luckily I do have a white nail French tip manicure pen um, nail pen so that I used that to cover up anything that I did chip off with that and um, it worked perfectly you can't tell the difference but yeah so I'm adhering the glue to my actual nail to the press on and then putting it on right in front of my cuticle at a 45 degree angle and then I'm holding it for 15 to 25 seconds depending on how much glue I used um, and also making sure that I'm pressing down and trying to get rid of all of those air bubbles Now I'm taking my filer and I'm getting that one nail that had a bunch of glue on uh, right outside the cuticle. I'm doing getting that off with that and then I'm filing the tips off of the press-ons and just kind of shaping them up a little bit more, not doing too much. Um, and then I'm also taking my cuticle remover and getting the excess glue from the times where I used way too much from up underneath the nail. Now I'm taking this top coat that I also got from Amazon and I'm about to basically put it on the nails to give it that shine. I went way too hard on the pinky nail and I want you guys to be careful when you do this because the uh, it was very thick, especially that brand. It's a very thick top coat and when I put my hand in the light to cure, it ended up burning my pinky and my index finger because I used way too much. Even though I tried to clean it up before I did put, before I put my hand in the lamp, that didn't work. So be careful. So I let it cure for 99 seconds and then I went ahead and did my other hand, went through the whole process off camera and here I'm just showing you guys what it looks like before I oil my cuticles. Now I didn't have any regular cuticle oil so I, so I did use my Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant Body Oil. Works just the same and smells amazing. And y'all I am literally obsessed. It looks like I went to the nail salon but for cheaper. Um, we'll absolutely be doing this from now on and they are sturdy they aren't going anywhere and I don't know about y'all but I love me a good French tip that's it for the video though I hope you enjoyed bye